Major stakes here at Fairfield Ward as we welcome you to the Boys Volleyball State Semifinals between the Darien Blue Wave and the Conard Red Wolves. Glad to have you with us. Alongside me today is Cooper Puff and Cooper. Both these teams have been resilient throughout the year and we'll start with Conard. What do they need to do to pull off an upset here today? Well, the Red Wolves are definitely going to have to play a defensive battle here and then set up players like Jaden Dew, who has 218 kills on the season. And for the Wave, what do you think they need to do to get by this underrated Red Wolves team? Well, Darien's played phenomenal all year. They're 24-0, and they just got to play their game. They got to set up players like Trevor Herget. And on the defensive side, Austin Black and Trey Davenport have to come up with huge blocks as well. Yeah, coming into this one, the four-seeded Connor Red Wolves, 16-4. Coming into this matchup, again, much experience against stronger teams. Three sets to zero win against the 17-6 West Hill Vikings. They also have victories over the 16-8 and Enfield Eagles and a faced off against Simsbury Trojan, Trojans and Southington Blue Knights as well of a combined record of 38-9. and nine. So how, do, how important do you think that experience is against these tough teams coming into this matchup against the undefeated Blue Wave? Well, you know, coming up with huge wins, like you said, throughout their season against West Hill. You know, they should use that momentum and their ability in those games, and they got to use it here. You know, what they did right against West Hill, they got to maybe use it here to beat to defeat Darianne. Mm -hmm. Darianne Blue Wave, as you mentioned, perfect 24 0, coached by Lori LaRusso. Have only dropped one set this season, that was against Ridgefield. As a matter of fact, that was the only set they've dropped since May 16th of last year, and they haven't lost the games, 69 straight games, with a win for the Darianne Blue Wave, again, coached by the notorious Coach LaRusso. Looking to bring home another championship here for the Blue Wave. Again, the Wave captains, Austin Black, Trevor Herget, Isaac McMullen. Numerous, numerous awards ranging from Allstate and FCAC teams. Herget being named the Game Time CT Player of the Year. Committed to BYU to continue playing volleyball. Both teams taking the floor as we are set to get underway here at Fairfield Ward. Connard, Red Wolves, Darianne, Blue Wave. Kind of tough matchup for the Red Wolves, but as you mentioned, they can pull away with this one. Referee signaling to the players, and it will be the Darien Blue Wave starting off for us. It will be number four, Griffith Kraus. And we are on our way. Griffith Kraus starts it off. Red Wolf setting it up over the top. Dug again. This one's set up by Herget to his brother. Thomas Herget, that one's off the scoreboard, and it's going to be the first point of the game to the Darien Blue Wave. Starting off early, Thomas Herget, the freshman for the Darien Blue Wave. He'll be back to Griffith Kraus. The serve. And there's the set. Whistle blown. Will be a point to Darien. 2 nothing now. Right back to Griffith Kraus for the set. There's the serve. Dog by Ward. Setting it up. Hit over the top. This one gets through. First point of the game for the Red Wolves. Yeah, and that's what the Red Wolves definitely have to do all day. Setting up Jaden Dew. It's definitely their main guy. Coach Kerry Roller talking to her team from the sideline. Kerry Roller still holds the school record for block solos, service aces, while being second in blocks at Rutgers University. Also the first Scarlet Knight to earn all conference honors in the Atlantic 10. This one's hit across. Here's a set from Darian. This one's the Davenport. They're not able to stop that. I'm going to make the grab really quickly. Will be a point for the Blue Wave. Number eight, Thomas Herget, serving here. This one makes it across, and it will be down. First ace of the game for the Wave. Thomas Herget gets it done. Yeah, he's just adding to his tally now. That makes 57 aces on the season. Herget once more for Darian. Good dig. Connard setting it up. This one hit. Palm save from McMullen, and they're not able to get it across. Red Wolves now. Second point of the game for them. 
Score moves, moves to 4 2. This will be number 25, Paul Gogolik. He gets it across. Dug by McMullen. And they're just going to have to hit this across. Free ball opportunity for the Red Wolves. This one's up to Dew. Blocked at the line. Davenport gets it over. That one's in. Trey Davenport with the block hits it over, gets the score for the wave. Yeah, I talked about it coming into this one. Trey Davenport plays a vital role. He's got a big frame. He's a tall. He's 6'5". Definitely uh, causes havoc up at the net. This one's hit across. Connor sets it up. This one's to Jaden Dew. That one's blocked at the line. Austin Black and Trey Davenport starting this game off strong for the wave. Go back to the captain, Isaac McMullen, to serve it across. Makes it over. No match. Second ace of the game for the Blue Wave. This one done by the captain, Isaac McMullen. It'll go back to McMullen once more. Darian leads 7-2. Now one's hit into the corner. McMullen back to back. Teammates are loving it. And the first timeout of the game is going to be called here by the Connard Red Wolves. So far, 8-2. to two. Blue Wave, Cooper, what do you think this Darien team is doing right so far? You know, they're just setting up their main players. Trevor Hergit, Thomas Hergit playing phenomenal. And then Trey Davenport and Austin Black are coming up huge at the net. They both have a block recorded right now. And for the Red Wolves, great timeout. You can't let this Darien team pull away. And, and you know, they got to put a stop to their momentum here. So a definitely a smart timeout. 8-2 right now is your score. Again, the Darien Blue Wave 24-0 coming into this one, looking to advance for another championship. They've had many under the coach Lori LaRusso, again, their last season this year. But she has been historic, not just only in Darien, but in the state of Connecticut, known as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, high school volleyball coaches. As Connor breaks out of their timeout, Darien looks like they're taking the floor. Clock. Winds down again, eight to two is your score. It will be Darianne serving. Timeout used by the Red Wolves and we'll see if they're able to stop Isaac McMullen here. They've had trouble. And there's the dig. This one's tipped up. Dew looking to tip it across. Saved by Darianne. Trevor Hergit slams it down. Connor keeps it alive. This one's set up. Jaden Dew once more. He gets it over. It will be the Connor Red Wolves. 8-3. to three. Good point right out of the timeout for them. Now it'll head back to the Red Bull side to serve. This will be number 15, Jaden Dew, coming off of the kill. He gets it across. Doug Mac McMullen. This one's up to Black. That one's blocked at the line. And the bench is on their feet for the Red Wolves. Back-to-back -back points. Yeah, Eight to four now. Huge block there for the Red Wolves. Definitely could be a momentum shifter there to get them back in this one. Jaden do once more. He gets it across. Dug by Darian. This one's up to Trevor Hergit. And that's difficult to stop. Trevor Hergit, game time CT player of the year, gets his first kill of the night. Score moves to 9-4. Will be Jeff and Wadi, the senior, coming in for the wave to serve. And Wadi, that one's going to hit the net. Will be Connor Red Wolves point. This will be number two, Jaden Flores, the senior, the captain of this Red Wolves team. That gets across, dug by Hergit. Set up by Kraus. Bryce Ford gets it in the weak spot. Connor looking to recover, not able to. Will be Darian Point. 10 5 now, your score. Phenomenal placement there by Bryce Ford. And it will be Trevor Hergit serving for the Blue Wave. Trevor Hergit, that one hits the net. Red Wolves get the point. 10 6 now. Substitution coming in, five for 25. 
Paul Gagalik coming back into the game for Aaron to go. Connor gets it across. That one just off the hands. Red Wolves get another point. 10-7, your score. Number 11, Julian Hartland serving for Connard. He gets it across. And that one tipped up, blocked. Let's see what the call is. And it will be Connard point. Referee's still going about it. Looks like they're going to have a talk here. And Connor teammates will group up. Score right now is 10 to 7. Still deciding on that call. The referees say Connor point. Score moves 10 to 8. Red Wolves only down two. They were down by much more coming out of that timeout. This one tapped across. Kraus back up to Hergit. He gets blocked at the line. This one still gets over. There's a set. Dewey gets it across. Dug by Trevor Hergit to Thomas Hergit. That one's blocked once more. Kraus up again. Thomas Hergit. He gets it into the corner, but it's out of bounds. The Connard Red Wolves get the point. Yeah, the Red Wolves are playing great defensively. They've definitely started to get the momentum back their way. 10 to 9. That one just gets it across. Kraus up to Trevor Hergit. He taps it in. Palm save. Under the net, though. Darien gets a much needed point. 11 to 9, the wave lead. Looks like it's Bryce Ford serving. Gets it across. There's the dig. This one's coming over towards us. It's going to be out of bounds. Darien, another ace. Ford will serve once more. This one gets over. Doug. They're just going to need to hit this one across. Free ball. Hurry to Kraus. Kraus up to Thomas Hurry. He gets blocked at the line. Will be Connard's point. 12 to 10 now. Serving for Connor, Tristan McClay, the sophomore. And that one's going to hit the net. Darian gets the point, 13 10. Wave will serve. Griffith Kraus, he gets it across. Whistle blown, it's Darianne's point. Will be Kraus again. Gets it across. And they will smack it over, but it's blocked at the line. Tipped over by Dew. He can't touch it. It will be Thomas Herget hitting it out. Connor Red Wolves, another point, 14 to 11. Serving now is number 21, Rafael Ortiz. Ortiz gets it over, there's the dig. This one's up, Thomas Herget, he gets blocked. Tipped up, Connor is going to have to hit it across, Jaden Dew. This one's Thomas Hergit finding the weak spot. Connard keeps it alive. They tip it over. And that one's in. What a play from the Connard Red Wolves. 14 to 12 is your score. Red Wolves staying with the wave in this first set. Raphael Ortiz serving again. He gets it over. Trevor Hergit digs it. This one's up to Thomas Hergit. He tips it. Connard up to do. This one makes it by. Darian a chance. Austin Black tips it. Connard, dig up in the middle. Looks like that one's out. It will be Darian's point. 
15-12. Got to give a lot of credit to the Red Bulls for doing a phenomenal job just staying in this game against the Wave. Playing great defensively. Thomas Herger with the serve. That one's out. 15-13. Now, Wave still leading by two. And the serves are really hurting the Wave here. They've been struggling to get it in. All back. Paul Gagalik for the Conard Red Wolves. That one will get across. Tipped up. Austin Black. Good dig from the captain. This one's up to Dew. Dew gets it across. Conard Red Wolves only down one here in this first set. Darian has led the entire first set so far. And that one is out. As you mentioned, Cooper, the serves. Now Connard. 16-14, Darian gets the point. Isaac McMullen, he gets it across. Good dig for Connard. This one's up to do. Blocked at the line, but it gets across. The Red Wolves now. 16-15. Cam, I talked about a pregame that the Red Bulls had to do a good job setting up Jaden Dew, and that's exactly what they're doing here. And he's been a con huge contributing factor to their success. There's Dew serving. That one just goes out. Blue Wave get the point. That's back-to-back -back plays for the Red Wolves where the serves have just been hurting them. Jeff Nwadi coming in. He will be serving for the Wave. He gets it across. Do with the dig. This one's up. Far side. That one gets over. Dug by Darianne. Up to Trevor Herget. He gets blocked at the line. McMullen up to Herget. He tries to get it across. He does. Ford now. This one's back to Trevor Herget. Clean play there. Darianne gets the point. 18 to 15, the Darian Blue Wave still staying ahead in this first set. Will be Jeff and Wadi serving again for the Wave. Dug by Connor. This one's up. Blocked at the line. And the height of Darian has been huge in this one. 19 15, the score. And Duwadi gets it across. This one's tipped up. They'll bump it over. It's an opportunity for the Wave. This one's up to Ford. He gets blocked at the line. And that's three. Connor Red Wolves get the point. 19-16. Red Wolves staying in it. Hit across. We'll try to sneak it over. And this one's just a free ball right over to Darian. And Wadi to Krauss. This one's to Trevor Hergit. He gets it down. 20 to 16. Trevor Hergit with the kill. And now it'll be Trevor Hergit serving for the wave. Herget gets it across, but that one's out. The Conard Red Wolves only down three here. Substitution, 25 for five. Paul Gagala coming back into the game. Number 11, Julian Hartland serving. He gets it over. McMullen with the dig. This one's up. Thomas Herget blocked at the line. Bryce Ford gets it over. Great dig there. This one's up. He tips it over. Trevor Herget to Krause to Ford. And the Conard Red Bull is still staying alive. This one's tipped over. Darian settles it down. Trevor Herget straight through the middle. What a dig from the Conard Red Wolves. And a failed tip. And what a point there. Yeah, 20 to 18. Just a phenomenal dig there. 
gets it over the net, and I don't think the Blue Wave were really expecting him to get it back over. And the Red Bulls are just doing a phenomenal job to stay in this one. That one gets over. Trevor Herget through the middle. And that one's in. Darien Blue Wave will get the point. And it looks like Kerry Roller saw that one go out. On the left, the Wave get the point. Bryce Ford now serving for the Wave. That one gets across. Good dig for Connard. Up on the far side. Tipped over. This one's to Thomas Herget. He gets blocked, but it gets over. They somehow sneak it past. Tipped over, Davenport in the center. He gets the kill. 22 to 18, your score. And a timeout called by Coach Roller. We're gonna take a quick break, but we'll be back to resume the end of this first set here at Fairfield Ward in your state semifinals. We'll be back. And we are back on the Daft Media Network here at Fairfield Ward for the state semifinals. Connard Red Bulls and Darianne Blue Wave, your score right now, 22-18, the Wave leading. This one gets across. Connard with the dig, this one's set up, far side. Close side, excuse me, gets over. The Connard Red Wolves get the point out of the timeout. It'll be number 22, Tristan McClay. He gets it over. McMullen, this one's the Davenport. He gets it over. Great hit there from Trey Davenport. 23 to 19. They'll go back to the wave. Griffith Kraus will be serving. He gets it over. There's the dig. Setting up. Jaden Dew on the far side. He gets blocked. Austin Black with the rejection. And the Wave are one point away here in this first set. Krauss will serve. He gets it over. There's the dig from Connard. Jaden Dew, far side once more. Deja vu. But it looks like a hit off the net. Austin Black reached over. Will be Connard's point, and they stay alive. It'll be number 21, Rafael Ortiz, the sophomore. Needs to get it over here to stay alive in this first set. And he does. Kraus, far side black. There's the dig for Connor. Miscommunication, though. And a tough way to end this first set. 25 to 20 is your score. Darian Blue Wave will take the first as they come over to switch sides. We're going to take a quick break. Again, we'll be back for the second set here on the state semifinals at Fairfield Ward on the Daft Media Network. We'll be right back. DAF Media is actively seeking financial support. Founded in 2017, DAF Media has quickly become Southwestern Connecticut's source for quality sports, arts, and community programming.
If you like what you see on the DAF Media Network and want to help us continue to deliver high-quality broadcasts while teaching lifelong STEM, communication, organization, and leadership skills, please email us at sponsor at dafmedia.org. We are a registered 501c3 organization. And we are back on the Daft Media Network here at Fairfield Ward. Score the first set 25 to 20. Darian Blue Wave takes it, heading into the second one. Connard again staying close the entirety of that first set, just unable to get it. Looks like it will be the Red Wolves starting us off in this second set. Number 11, Julian Hartland. He'll get it across. This one's set up. Thomas Herget, first kill of the second set for the Darien Blue Wave, 1-0. Good dig there again, the freshman, Thomas Herget, brother of Trevor Herget. Krauss will get it across. Free ball here. Krauss, this one's up. Austin Black slams it down. Another kill here for the Wave. Great start in this second set. Krause again will attempt to get it across for Darian. And he does. This one's dug by Connard. Up top in the middle, he gets it across. Good play from the Red Wolves, two to one. Number 21, Rafael Ortiz. First kill of the second set for the Red Wolves. It will be back to number 22, Tristan McClay. He gets it over. Kraus up to Davenport through the center, and he gets it. Three kills for the Blue Wave as they move ahead three to one. It's very important for the Red Wolves not to get down by too much. It really hurt them in that first set. They were trailing the entire time. So they want to make sure that, that, that they stay close. And I think that's what was their make or break last set, that they just were 
trailing too much and too late in the game. Thomas heard it looks like in midair. Thought about something, but not able to get it over. Three to two is your score. It'll go back to Connor. Number 21, Raphael Ortiz. He just gets it over. First ace of the day. I think the wave there thought that serve was going to be a little short as I heard a, a short call from mm -hmm. the wave. Nonetheless, we are tied at three. Ortiz once more. He gets it over. Dog by Thomas Herget. This one's up to Austin Black off of one leg. He gets it over. First kill for Austin Black of the second set. Will be four to three, Darian. Isaac McMullen now serving. McMullen over. Dug by Connor. They'll set up Jaden Dew. He gets blocked at the line. And the blue wave. Another point. And they've been earning these points. All kills, all blocks. No mistakes so far for the Red Wolves, but five to three, the wave lead. It'll be McMullen once more, the captain. He gets it over. There's the dig. Far side, Jaden Dew blocked at the line, but it gets over. Jaden Dew gets a kill. Serving now, 25, Paul Gagalik. And that one is a dot right over the net. Far side to Black, hits the pole, it will be Connard's point. And they tie it at five. Griffith Krauss just unable to get it to Austin Black. Gagalik gets it over. Krauss, this one's up to Trevor Hergit. He gets it down. That one somehow dug over just short. They get it over. It will be Connard hitting it across. Dug by Krauss. Thomas Hergit to his brother Trevor. He tips it. Connor unable to get it there, and it will be the blue wave point. Very close point there for both sides. And it will be Ndwadi coming in for the wave. He will serve, replacing Austin Black. He's successful getting it over. This one's set up. Just makes it over. Darian trying to get it across, and they do. But it will be Connard's point. Six six. We are tied. We'll go to number 15, Jaden Dew. He's been a big part of this one so far. That one's going way back. And will be McMullen hitting it across. Free ball opportunity. Here's the set. Close to us, that one's just hit across. And Wadi unable to handle it. And Connor takes their first lead of I think the entire game, seven to six. Jaden Dew once more. He gets it across, but it's gonna be out. Seven, seven now. Trevor Hergit will serve for the weave. Berge gets it over, this one's dug, but it goes to the far side. Will be Darian's point as they take the lead right back. Eight to seven now, your score. Berge, he gets it over. Jaden Dew with the dig. This one's set up. Blocked though by Darian. Once more, same side, this one gets over. Griffith Krause, this one to Thomas Herget. He tips it over. Connard, they'll settle it, and they'll just bounce it over. Trevor Herget to Krause. This one, Thomas Herget. That one gets over. And Thomas Herget with the kill. And great defense from both sides on that point. But Thomas Herget gets it across. 
will be Trevor once more. He gets it over. Another dig, though. Connor, another free ball opportunity. Darian just sneaky tipping it over. Griffith Kraus, good awareness there. Kurgit struggled uh, to get his serve in in the first set, but he's doing a phenomenal job here. And uh, definitely helping with Darian's momentum when he gets when he gets his serve in. It's really hard for Connor to return it. Mm -hmm. That one will go out. Will be Connor serving here. This one gets over. Kraus setting up Thomas Hergit. He tips it. Dug though from Connor. That one just tipped. Griffith Kraus. Back to back great plays from the junior. 11 to 8 your score. This one will be Bryce Ford. That one out of bounds will be Connor Point, 11-9. Five for 25, a similar substitution that we've seen for the Red Wolves. This will be number 11, Julian Hartland serving. He gets it across. This one's over to Thomas Hergit. He just tips it. Opportunity for Connor. Far side, Trevor Hergit able to handle it. Thomas Hergit now. That one gets over. Thomas Hergit, another kill. Substitution, it will be Austin Black coming back in. Now serving, Griffith Kraus. He's had a great second set so far. Kraus gets it over. This one's dug by Connor on the far. This one's tipped over. McMullen settles it. Will be Austin Black tipping it over. Here's the set. And that one's out. And the blue wave get another point. Tristan McClay, or excuse me, number 25, Paul Gaglick almost had that one on the far corner. Kraus gets it over. This one's the gag look again. This one's blocked, though. And that combination of Trey Davenport and Austin Black has been huge. And a timeout by the Red Wolves. Your score right now, 14 to 9. We're going to take a quick break, but we will resume this second set here at Fairfield Ward on the DAF Media Network. Welcome back to the DAF Media Network here at Fairfield Ward for the state semifinals between the Darien Blue Wave and the Connor Red Wolves. 14-9, the Wave lead in this second set. They won the first one. Looking to win this second one. Darien will just knock it across. Jaden do with the dig. This one's set close to us. Able to get it over. Kraus, another set. Trevor Hergit through the center. What a dig from the Red Wolves. Unable to save it, though. Some miscommunication between Rafael Ortiz and Jaden Flores. Nonetheless, the Blue Wave get the point. Yeah, the Wave are starting to pull away here midway through the second set, and it's, you know, a lot of these points are coming up from big uh, other players other than Trevor Hergit. Griffith Kraus playing amazing. Austin Black and Trey Davenport also coming up huge at the net, and it's uh, contributing a lot to the success of the Darian team. Substitutions being made, eight for 22. Will be Noah White coming into the game. 
We saw something similar in this first set. Darianne taking the lead, but Connard always sticking around. We'll see if they could stay around here. This one gets over. Four, Davenport. It will be the Waves point. Griffith Kraus to Trey Davenport. Now Thomas Hergett will be serving. And Hergett, that one doesn't get over. It will be Connard's point. Connard down five. It will be number 21, Rafael Ortiz, coming to serve. That one gets over. Dug by McMullen. Trevor Hergett, clean kill there for the wave. And Bryce Ford coming in for Davenport. Go back to the captain, Isaac McMullen. Wave lead by six. And that one hits the net. Now Connard will serve. That one's dug. Over Trevor Hergett, just tips it over. Great awareness. Trevor Hergett, the captain. 18-12 now. And Indwadi will come in for Austin Black. And he will serve for the wave. He gets it over, and that one's dug. It's a miscommunication, able to get it over. Good dig from McMullen. This one's up to Trevor Hergett. Blocked at the line, and he gets it right off of the block. What a play from Trevor Hergett. The second effort for the captain in the wave now lead by seven. Only six away from winning this second set. Will be Ndwadi serving for the wave. He gets it over. This one's set up, close to us. Jaden Dew with the tip. Palm safe from Ndwadi, what a play. That one's set up, Jaden Dew. This one's blocked. Uh, will be Connor's point though, reaching over. It was Bryce Ford unable to. Some substitutions now. Eight for 22. Will be Tristan McClegg coming back in the game for Connor. Jaden Dew gets it over. That one goes up. It will be Trevor Hergett getting it across. He gets another kill. And he has had a great second set for the Wave. Only five away from taking this second set. Hergett gets it over, but it will be out 22-14. up to Ford, he gets blocked, but it gets over. Blue Wave will get the point. Davenport coming in from McMullen. It will be Bryce Ford serving for the Wave. Ford gets it over, dug by Dew. This one's up through the middle, tipped over. And that one hits the ground, and Connor gets the point. More subs, 25 for five. And Connard still hanging around. We'll see what happens in the later part of the second set. Here's the serve, this one gets over. Kraus to Thomas Hergett. Good dig by the captain. 22, that one gets over. Back and forth. This one's set, far side, that one's way out. Will be Darianne's point. Austin Black comes back in the game for the wave. Will be Griffith Kraus serving. 
He gets it over. Good dick from Connard. On the far side. Good play from Kraus. Thomas Hergen gets it over. Here's the set. 22, McClay. That one stays in. Tristan McClay. Great kill there. The Red Bulls staying alive. And it will be McClay serving. He gets it over. And that one, tipped down. Davenport getting it to Herget. Off of a head. This one still getting over. Darian getting situated now. Austin Black, he gets blocked at the line by Jalen Dew. Or Jaden Dew. Excuse me. This one's over. Trevor Herget. This one's over to his brother, Thomas Herget. He tips it. Connor, do. He gets rejected. This one just sneaks over, but it will be the Blue Waves point. Only two away from taking this second set. Thomas Herget, he gets it over. Off the chest. Do over to McMullen. Kraus, this one's to Trevor Herget. He gets it over. One away, Trevor Herget. He gets the kill. He'll go back to Thomas Herget as they look to close out this second set. Gets it over. Dug by Connor. This one close to us. Do he gets rejected, but it will be Connor's point. The Red Wolves on the serve. They get it over. Kraus. This one's the Black. Rejected, and it will be Austin Black with the last kill of the second set. And the Blue Wave take it 25 to 18. We will move on to coverage of the third set on the DAF Media Network. We're going to take a short break. We will be back again for the remaining third set. We are DAF Media, Darianne's hometown source for sports, arts, and entertainment, established in 2017. We are Community, a volunteer-based organization that gives nearly 50 Darianne High School students hands-on experience in video production. We are Cutting Edge, a STEM initiative. Students use cameras, computers, sound equipment, and innovative software. We are live, streaming 120 events per year on our YouTube channel. We are on the stage. We are at the big games. We are on the field. We are in the gym. We are on the move, live streaming not only in Darien, but throughout southwestern Connecticut and the tri-state area. We are making a difference. We are DAF Media.
Welcome back to the Daft Media Network here at Fairfield Ward for your boys volleyball state semifinals. Score of the second set, 25-18. Darianne wins it up two sets to none. One away from again winning the state semifinals. Will be Trey Davenport starting us off with the first kill of the third set. Darianne takes a 1-0 lead. Will be Kraus serving for the wave. Kraus gets it over. That one's just going to go straight over. Connor trying to keep it alive. They will do. He hits it across. And the wave unable to recover. And Jaden Dew, you've been Cooper talking about him all game, and he's been a huge part of this Red Bulls offense. Yeah, they, they struggled to set up Jaden Dew last set, and I think that definitely hurt him. But, you know, they're setting him up early now, and I think that could lead to great success for this third set and even get him a win right now. They are tied at one. End of their season on the line here for the Connard Red Wolves. That one just gets over. Good serve there. Kraus up to Davenport. Good dig. That one's going to be out. Will be the blue wave. 2-1. Substitutions being made. 21 for seven. Rafael Ortiz coming back in. Will be number eight, Thomas Hergit, serving for the wave. He gets it over. Do with the dig. Up through the middle. There's the tip. Palm save. Kicked by Hergit. And McMullen gets it over. And what a play there from the Darien Blue Wave. It was kicked over from Trevor Hergen and then McMullen gets it across. An unorthodox point for the Wave, but nonetheless leading 3-1. It'll be Thomas Hergen once more. This one's up to do. He gets blocked. Blue Wave now 4-1. Served from Hurry it once more. He gets it over. Do with the dig. They'll go back over to him. He tips it over. Austin Black trying to find the weak point. They'll go to Do again. He hits it into the far corner. Will be out of bounds though. Five to one. Darian getting off to a great start in this third set. Yeah, Darian's two front men, Trey Davenport and Austin Black, both well over six foot. Pose a lot, a lot of difficulty for. Canard here as um, they have to almost get it right over them, loft it over them, and, and it's been proven difficulty for them. Yeah, looking here from the press, you could easily see the height difference between the Red Wolves and the Wave. As you were mentioning, the two front men, Austin Black and Trey Davenport. That one's digged. Will be over to do once more. He's been getting a lot of action. This one's blocked. It will be Connard's point. Good awareness there from Jaden Dew. This will go back to the Wolves to serve. It will be 25, Paul Gagalik. He gets it over. McMullen with a dig. This one's close to us. Trevor Hergit slams it down. His yeah. first kill of the third set. There's re nothing really you can do there. You know, that's what exactly what the Wave want to do. They got to set up their star player, Trevor Hergit. And when he gets up like that, it's nearly impossible to get a return. Trevor Hergit had a great second set. And I wonder if that was a big part of why they came away with that by seven. This one's over to do. He tips it over. Trying to keep it in, but it will be the Blue Waves point. Eight to two now. Serving will be the captain, Isaac McMullen. He gets it over. Good dig from Flores. This one's over to do once more. He gets blocked. Blue Wave. Austin Black having a field day in this third set. It will be a timeout called, and your score in this third set, nine to two. The Darien Blue Wave almost running away with it. One more set from getting a victory in this state semifinals. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back for the remaining coverage of the third set on the Daft Media Network.
Welcome back to DAF Media Network. Again, remaining coverage here on the third set. Darian leads two sets to none. And in this third set, leading nine to two. Now 10 to two. And the Blue Wave just finally finding their action in this third set. Again, a big part of that leading by Trevor Hergit, one of the captains of this team. Isaac Ogolan hits it far, that one's out. Red Wolves get a must needed point. Will be Jaden Dew serving for the Wolves. And that one will be out. It will be the Blue Wave with the point. Jeff Nwadi coming back in. And Nwadi will see, serve here. He gets it over. Here's the set. Far side. That one's blocked once more. And it's just been a struggle for the Red Wolves to get these across with the height that the Blue Wave have. Another one blocked there, that one by Bryce Ford. And it will be Jaden Flores, the captain, serving. He gets it over. Dug by Hergett, set up to Ford, and he kills it down. 12 to four now, the score advances. Or 11 to four, excuse me. Oh, not 12 to four. Will be Trevor Hergett serving for the wave. That one hits the net. 12 to five. Substitution will be Paul Gagalik coming into the game. Julian Hartland will serve. He gets it over. That one's dug. Tipped up Bryce Ford. Gets it, but that one's out of bounds. 12-6 now. Connor have been relatively close on all these sets. Trying to stay alive here in this third one. This one gets over. Thomas Hergett with a dig. Ford tips it over. Palm save, unable to get it. Will be the blue wave with the point. Trey Davenport, the senior, will come into the game. Will be Bryce Ford serving for the wave. He gets it over, but this one hits the net. Will be Connard's point. 13 to seven. Now number 22, Tristan McClay. He will serve for the Red Wolves. He gets it over. But it looks like a wait for the referee here. McClay hits it. That one will be out. It will be the Waves point. It will be Krauss serving. This one gets over. Um, unable to get it. Good play there from the Wave as they advance up eight. He's trying to survive this third set, but Darian trying to keep advancing. It will be Griffith Krauss once more serving. He gets it over. That one's dug. This one tipped over to Dew. He gets blocked once more at the net. Trey Devonport hits it over. 16 to 7. The block and the kill for Trey Davenport on that play. Hit over, Doug. They're just gonna have to hit this one across. Free ball. This communication though from the wave. Herget gets it over to his brother. That one makes it across. 
And the Blue Wave now lead by 10. Let's go back to Kraus once more for the serve. This one goes over. Dug by Flores. Far side, do. He just tries to tip it across, unable to get it. 18 to eight, or 18 to seven, excuse me. Timeout now called from the Red Wolves. Kara Roller using it. Darian leads by 11. We will be back for the remainder of the third set on the DAF Media Network. And we are back on the Daft Media Network. Last chance here for the Connard Red Wolves. Will be the Blue Wave serving. Doug over to Dew, he tips it over. Whistle is blown, it will be the Blue Wave with the point. Now up 12, only six points away from winning in these state semifinals. One step closer to another state championship for Lori LaRusso and her Darianne Blue Wave. This one's hit over, far side to do. And that height for Darianne has just been killer. Another point there for the Blue Wave. Austin Black and Trey Davenport combining for the block. This will be Griffith Kraus. He gets it over. Almost saved, they will get it across. It will be Kraus tipping it to Davenport. Good dig though. Over the top, locked down from Thomas Hergett. 21 to seven. And this Darian team could taste the victory only four points away. And the wave, it's just a phenomenal job here, just kind of shutting down all of the Redwoods offense, getting numerous blocks. And Connor gets their first point since the timeout. Coming into the game will be number 29, Max Riker. Coming in for number 21, Rafael Ortiz. Max Riker, first time on the floor here today. A senior on this team. He gets it over. And Max Riker comes in and gets an ace. 21 to nine is your score. And looking for a comeback here is the Red Wolves. Riker gets it over. Trey Davenport. That one just tipped over. Honard will set it up. They'll go to Dew on the far side. This one gets over. Kraus to Herget. Blocked again. Isaac McMullen will try to get it over, unable. And the Red Wolves get two straight. Will be Max Riker. He'll continue to serve here. He gets it over. Kraus, far side to Black. He gets rejected. Palm save. Thomas Hergett tips it over. Do with the dig. They'll go over to us. This one gets over. Tipped again. Kraus, Thomas Hergett. He gets blocked. It gets over. And that one tipped by Davenport. It looks like we will still keep playing. Play hits it over. Kraus. This one's the black. Another dig, the Connard Red Wolves. Jaden Dew gets it over. And they get another point. Three straight for the Connard Red Wolves. And they are staying alive. Max Riker has come in. Three straight serves, three straight points. That one stays in. Kraus, Davenport, blocked again. And that's four straight. The Connor Red Wolves 
Late surge here, straight four points like you said, Cam, and they're playing great defensively, really shutting down that Darien offense. Riker gets it over again. Kraus, this one's to Thomas Herget. Dug from Riker. They'll go far side, Jaden Du, he gets blocked. Darien gets their first point in five, and they are only three away. And Riker, a late hero for this Red Bulls team, will get substituted out. Down 10. Thomas Hargit gets it across. Dug by Dew. They'll go back over to him. This one gets passed. Whistle blown. It will be Connard's point. This will be number 25, Paul Gogolik. Gogolik gets it across, dug from McMullen. Krause, Davenport, he gets a much needed kill. Only two away now. Bryce Ford comes into the game for Davenport. The captain McMullen, he gets it across. This one's over to Dew. This one blocked, still on Darien's side. They'll just need to hit it across here. And that one hits the net. 23-14. Coming into the game is number 22, Tristan McClay, coming out, Noah White. That serve gets across. Herge with the dig. Over to Austin Black. This one served over. Darian setting it up. Bryce Ford, that one's out. The Red Bulls down eight. Darian struggling to put away the Red Wolves here as they make their late surge in this third set. Will be Jaden Dew. He gets it over. This one's over to Trevor Herget. Off the hand, it will be the Blue Wave with the point. And they are a one point away from getting a victory here in Fairfield Ward in the state semifinals here. Can they do it? Will be Jeff Nwadi serving for the Blue Wave. That one's out. Red Bull stay alive for now. Down eight. Will be the captain, Jaden Flores, serving. They will need nine straight. This one's off Trevor Herget. He ends it in the Darien Blue Wave end with an exclamation point. The captain, Trevor Herget, with the kill. Darien takes the third set, 25 to 16. Three sets to none and they win the state semifinals here at Fairfield Ward. Cooper, what did this Darien team do well today to get the victory? You gotta give a lot of credit to Austin Black and Trey Davenport. Austin listed at 6'6", and Trey listed at 6'5". They were just caused mayhem up at the net, and the Red Wolves struggled to get, get it over, and I think that led to Darien's success tonight. A, a, a lot of players, including uh, Trevor Herget, played a phenomenal match. And that's the reason why the Wave came out here and won. Last season of the game here for the Conard Red Wolves. You see the fans on their feet applauding. But for the Darien Blue Wave, the one seed moves to 25-0 and one step closer from another state championship. Thank you for joining us here on Daft Media. I want to give a shout out to our Daft Media crew. Ben Wachulis, Andrew Banks, Henry Brogno, Connor Fagan, Adam Nelson alongside me, Cooper Puff. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here on the DAF Media Network. Make sure to come by for more broadcasts. Thank you once again, and goodbye.